It's time for Tales. I'm Miss Corinne and February is Black History Month. History is the true story of things that happened in the past. You have your very own history, like where you were born or the name of your first stuffed animal. You also have a family history, like how your parents met or where your grandmother grew up when she was a little girl. We also share a community history, like who lived in Alabama before it was called Alabama, or how people used to be treated because of the color of their skin. Sometimes history is good, and sometimes it's bad. Sometimes it's a mixture. But whether it's good or it's bad, it's always so very important to remember history because it brought us to where we are today and it made us who we are today. So because of that, we need to remember history. We need to talk about it together and share it. The story I have for you today is a true story. It happened right here in Birmingham when your grandparents were little boys and girls. This story is written very beautifully in this book, Let the Children March by Monica Clark Robinson with pictures by Frank Morrison. This story is about a little girl who lived in Birmingham. She wasn't allowed on some playgrounds because she was black. Her family couldn't eat at some restaurants because they were black. It wasn't fair, but it was the law. One day she went with her family to church, but not for a Sunday service. They went to hear a man talk about how to change things for the better so that black people and white people could share the same spaces and play in the same parks. That man, Martin Luther King Jr., talked about what was right and wrong. He said it was time for people to march down the streets together to show the country's leaders how many people believed the laws that separated them were wrong. The little girl's parents and the other grown-ups wanted to march, but they were afraid that they would be fired from their jobs if they did. And if they had no jobs, how could they take care of their families? The little girl and the other boys and girls decided if their parents couldn't march, then the children should. Martin Luther King Jr. said it might be dangerous, but since the laws affected the children too, they had a right to stand up for themselves if they wanted to. So one morning, the little girl joined all the rest of the boys and girls wearing their nicest Sunday clothes. She was afraid, but together they walked down the street, singing songs about freedom. Even though crowds of angry people stood by and yelled at them, they kept walking. Even though the police sprayed them with hoses, they kept walking. Even when the police started to arrest some of them, they kept walking. The little girl and her friends were taken to jail. They crowded together in the tiny jail cell and kept singing songs about freedom. While they were in jail, people around the world started to learn about them from the news. They read it in the papers and saw it on TV. Even the President of the United States heard about the children who marched for freedom and went to jail, and he decided it was time to change things. He said they had to be set free from jail. He also said it wasn't okay for black people and white people to be separated. People should be able to play, work, and live in the same places no matter their color. The president decided it was time to change the laws. That little girl and her friends changed the world. Now the little girl could play on playgrounds where she hadn't been allowed before, and her family could eat at diners they weren't allowed in before. There were still a lot of changes to be made, but they kept walking for their freedom. What did you think about that story? How did it make you feel? Were there some bad things that happened? Were there good things that happened? Well, I'm so glad that you joined me today for this true story about Black history right here in Birmingham. Thank you for coming to hear this story. I will miss you when you go, but I will see you. At
at our next story time. Until then, I love you so.